Okay, so after you've installed your driver and your printer is ready, it's connected, it's ready to print, you've done a technical test card, you've done a graphical test card, it's printing, it's ready. You want to install eMedia. So what you want to do is you can download eMedia for free online. So you just want to grab eMedia online. It's very simple. You just uh, go to eMedia CS website. In fact, if you Google it, eMedia CS download, it should be the very first link that comes up. eMedia cards CS download, and you can click the download button, and that will download the program. I've already downloaded it, so if I just go here to my desktop, I'm just going to minimize this. If I just go here, and I have my little design eMedia setup file, this is what gets downloaded when you download it. Let me right click and I'm just going to say extract to here. It's just extracting that. And there we go. That's the installation file. Let's double click that. Let's go yes. I do want to make changes. English correct. Let's go next. I accept the agreement. Next. Next. Create a desktop icon. Install. Cool, let's fast forward through this. Cool, and we're done. Launch Immedia CS. Let's finish, and there we go. Usually when you launch it for the first time, it, um, it asks for some sort of registration, um, but since I've launched it before, it doesn't. Here we go. So this is your printing area, and this is your design area, and you can now create and design a card. We've got a blank card in front of us. Let's quickly go through quick basic design just so that we can see um, how to print to our printer which we've installed. Here we go. The first thing I like to do is just go file, print setup, and make sure that I've got the printer selected that is ready. So Evolus Primacy, Evolus Primacy ready, that's the right printer. It even says ready over there, and, and I'm happy. Okay. So, so let's just get throw a quick card together. I'm going to put a little picture on here. Uh, just to say that's the profile picture of the person you want to put on. Let's just put a text in here quickly. I usually like to just say, let's just make it nice and simple. So I'm going to go and I usually like saying uh, resize to fit. I like moving my layers over here because I want to see, I want to see all the detail on the side here. So what I'm going to say first of all is that this text should resize to fit in this box. Like that. I'm going to call this text object name. And in the text object I'm just going to put uh, name. Just uh, some dummy text name. And this is going to be uh, user input. User input means at the time of printing that you'll be able to change the text. So I'm just going to, wait, let me not do that. I'm going to take this, I'm going to co copy and paste it. And in that box, I'm going to put the word surname. This is the ID of the object. And as dummy text, I'm just going to put the word surname for now. And then let's 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 put your company name. Let's put your company name or whatever fixed piece of data you want. Let's let's say actually it would be much better if we did a if found text. So I'm going to go here and say if found and I'm going to make this fixed data because I don't want this to change. I'm going to say here if found please call this number. There we go. Easy. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to add another picture and I'm going to add it right here to the top like so and let's just say this is this should be a logo so I'm gonna go image type the picture I'm gonna go select a file on disk somewhere uh, I'm gonna go to my pictures sample pictures and let's just pretend this little flower is in fact your company logo like that and let's just say this is your design I'll take you through an advanced design tutorial later but for now this is good enough you have the person's name, photo, you have a name, a surname, and your logo, and some fixed text. Um, why don't we just throw in a barcode for the fun of it? I'll put that in there, and 
that'll print along with the card. You can put a QR code, you can put a signature area, um, you can do all kinds of things. You can put squares and circles and um, anything you want for the design. But as I said, I'll take you through an advanced tutorial later. Let's go to this area here. We've got the card design. I've, um, I've linked the printer and the print setup and we're ready to print. I can just, so I can go here. This is what I meant by user input. I've got a name area here. And if I just, at the time of printing, want to quickly type in someone's name, there it is. And if I want to quickly type in someone's surname, there it is, as simple as that. The reason I added, just a quick note, the reason you go and you click on text and you say resize to fit is because sometimes a person's surname will be much longer than the text box size. So if it's Stevenson Jacobson, you see how it resizes to the box. That's a very nice feature that um, that helps you fit the name in and fit the surname in at all times. I'm just going to put my name in here again, Bernard Jacob Stevenson. Um, and there we go, that's it. What you can do as well, which I forgot to do, is just on the barcode, instead of fixed data, I can put user input as well. And the default data, you can just put a nice little number in there. And at the time of printing, you can enter someone's barcode number, uh, like so. And it adjusts nicely to what you want to put in there. And I can now click on print. I'll just put this in again. And I can click on print, and that would print the card. There we go. Clicked on the card. You'll see in the bottom right here, there's a little printer. If I right click on it, and, I, and it's the Avotis Primacy, I can actually view the print job as it's happening. So there we go. It's uh, sending a print job to there. And if I go to my print center, it'll say printing in progress. Obviously now I've run out of cards. Uh, let me just put one in again. And after the print's finished, it should just be back to ready. And the card is printed. Very nice. And we're done. Another thing about, another quick thing that I want to mention about printing cards is that you can print, I think of this printer as a paper printer, except you can print on cards. So you can open this picture, a random picture on my computer, and you can go straight to print, and you could select the Avotis Primacy, it'll have a card sized area, and, and I could print this picture straight away, just like that. There we go. Goes to the card printer, it prints it perfectly on the card. That's just how easy and dynamic this printer is. And using a combination of design and e-media, you can do all kinds of cool things, uh, which I'll show you later. But there we go, that's e-media CS um, installed and ready to use. You may now design your card and move ahead. And we're done.